Let's do two examples of how we can use StatCrunch to help us find areas under the normal curve for a graph that's using the normal distribution. Now this question says, find the indicated z-score. The graph, meaning this one, depicts the standard normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So remember the normal distribution is just one of these that has this nice bell-shaped curve, just like that. So sometimes we need to calculate the areas under these curves to find the probabilities of something that we're interested in. Now a lot of the questions with the normal distribution will have these tables attached to them. Let's take a look. This is a table that's available in your book and basically this table is something you need to use if you don't have access to a technology like StatCrunch or a graphing calculator or some other kind of technology to help you. I do not recommend using these tables any more than I recommend going back to the 1960s and using a slide rule to calculate something with a logarithm. We don't need to use these archaic things anymore. They're hard to read. I find them confusing and technology is going to be way faster and way more accurate. So unless you ha already have some experience with these tables, please just ignore them and use technology. Now, to use StatCrunch, we're going to go ahead and go to Question Help and click on StatCrunch to open it. So here I have my StatCrunch and my question side by side. Let's move this up. To do normal distribution calculations using StatCrunch, we're going to go to Stat, and then Calculators, and then Normal. And StatCrunch is going to open this nice picture for us, just like this, the nice bell-shaped curve that is our normal distribution. So the first thing we need to tell StatCrunch is what is the mean and what is the standard deviation of whatever we're looking at. So in this particular question, let's move back up here, we were told that this is the standard normal distribution. That means it has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Well conveniently those that mean and that standard deviation are already here for me, but if the mean and standard deviation were different, I can just go ahead and type in whatever it is right here and that will work out just fine. Now. There's two parts to the standard distribution or any normal distribution curve. There's the numbers that appear down here at the bottom. In this case, since it's a standard normal distribution, those are going to be our z-scores. If it wasn't a standard normal distribution, it would just be the values of whatever data we had for that particular assignment. And then we're going to have these areas up here, these areas under the curve. Imagine I shaded in this area right here with a bunch of red. Those areas are corresponding to the probabilities that are associated with the values down here of the data on the bottom. So in this case, we were given this value of 0 0.9890 under the curve. That means it is an area or a probability. And we were not given this value for z. So we were given the area, and what we're looking for is this value down here on the bottom axis. So what should we do? If we come over here to StatCrunch, this section right here corresponds to the number or numbers that are down here on the bottom. In this case, we don't know that number. That's what we're looking for. So we can't fill anything in here at this moment. The number that goes here is the probability. Again, the probability in the picture is the shaded area. In this case, it's not shaded, it's just provided. So we were given the area in this case. We were given an area of 0 0.9890. So right here in this area field, I'm going to put in 0 0.9890. Now I can see that that area is the area that is less than or to the left of this z that I'm looking for. So I want to make sure that this value right here is set to less than. If I choose greater than, I would be talking about this section over here, greater than or to the right of the z. But that's not what I was given. I was specifically given this area that is to the left or less than that z value. So I'm going to leave this as less than. And then if I click compute, I will be given basically the same picture that I have here. So you can see I have this big area here, which stops right here, and that whole red area is the area 0 0.9890, just like it is in this picture over here. So what is this z value? Well, the z value is right here. It's that value that cuts the graph so that this much area, 0 0.9890, is to the left, and the remaining area is to the right. So we can see on the graph that it kind of looks like this 
cut point, this z value, is somewhere between 2 and 3. And to get the exact value, I look right here. So 2.290, etc., is the value that corresponds to this z-score. So I can put that value right here, 2.29, and this said to round to two decimal places, so I stop. And that's correct. Let's go to the next question and see how we can do the normal distribution in StatCrunch in a different way. So in this question, let's see if we can make this a little bigger, it says assume that a randomly selected subject is given a bone density test. Those test scores are normally distributed with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Find the probability that a given score is less than 2.01 and draw and sketch the region. So less than 2.01. So if I look at these few options right here, I see my 2.01, 2.01, each one has a 2.01, but I'm looking for the probability that a score is less than 2.01. So it can't be this one, because in this one, the area that's being shaded is more than 2.01. So it's not that. It can't be this one, this one is shading the area between negative 2.01 and positive 2.01, so it's not that. It can't be this one because this is giving me an area that's less than something, but it's not less than 2.01, it's less than negative 2.01, so it's not that. It's got to be this one. Here's 2.01, and then we've shaded the whole area that is less than 2.01, so we're going to select that one. And now we actually need to find what that area is. So for this, we're going to go over to our stat crunch. Again, first, we need to put in the mean and standard deviation. Well, conveniently here, the mean was 0 and the standard deviation was 1, so I can leave those as is. Again, if they were different numbers, you can just type whatever numbers they are right in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear these sections that we had before. So in this case, the question isn't giving me the area like it did in the last example, right? this area right here, we don't know what that is. In fact, that's what we're trying to find. What we do know is we know the value here on the bottom horizontal axis. That value is 2.01. So that value goes right here. The value on the axis goes here inside the parentheses, 2.01. And again, in this example, we were told that we want the probability of a score being less than 2.01. And that's what we have here in this picture. So I do want to leave this still selected as less than. If I change it to greater than, that's fine. But in this case, it's less than, as indicated right here. So we're going to leave it as less than. So we're going to click Compute again. And again, we get this nice picture. You can see it matches up very well to the picture that we were given that we already know is correct, where we have this big area here, just less than 2.01. And the probability, after I click Compute, has shown up right here, 0.9777, etc. So if I come back to my answer field, the probability is 0 0.9777. But here, it says to round to four decimal places, so I'm going to stop there. But the number that comes after that 7 is an 8, which means I need to round this up to an 8. And that should be it. All done. So remember, there are two ways to work in StatCrunch using the normal distribution. You can either put in the value given on the horizontal axis and get the area that corresponds to it, or you can go backwards. You can put in the area you were given and then discover what the value on the axis that corresponds to it is.